We're about to walk into the most epic sports card warehouse you have ever seen. Facts. Let's go. So, yep, this is kind of the hub of e-commerce in the industry, we believe. We got 42 million cards in this in, in this building and it's growing constantly. How many of those are on eBay? Every single one of them. 42, you got 42 million cards listed on eBay? We got two and a half million different listings. Right. And we can have and quantities that can by. go 40 to 60 deep. Oh, wow. Um, images for everything. Um, again, we grind hard every day. And the sheer amount of cards that we buy over yeah. the counter got to go somewhere. So we're processing like crazy. Dave's been with me over 20 years. And Dave right here is working on 65 Tops Baseball. Okay. Um, as we keep taking our vintage back earlier and earlier, these are all the fresh 65 Tops cards that we're playing with above and beyond wow. what's already in that room. Again, we'll have the cards that are base, uh -huh. so we can kind of skip through those, but anything that has a premium value to them, he'll sit there and break it out by condition and price. So these cards are $8, these are seven. So when they get to my team, they can put them in card savers and cleanly and price them. So he's only focused on the grading part. Okay. He shouldn't have to do those things because he's got the skills to do this. Anybody can cleanly put them in card savers and get a price on them. Dave, how many cards do you think you've looked at in your oh, lifetime? Oh, God. Uh, we actually ran a number and I believe it's roughly 3.5 million. Yeah. 3.5 million cards you've looked at that, that, you've, at that you've stared at, you've processed through in your lifetime. 3.5 million Whether cards. I didn't need these a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm aging you. All right, so we got DZ here. He's building out our new quarter section and um, we're literally gonna have 300 triple shoes like this is all 2018, 19 basketball. Mm -hmm. It'll be silvers, it'll be rookies, inserts, stars. We're building a 300 box system that will be taken to the Burbank show. This room right here is all online. This is all vintage in here. Wow. One of my guys works the swing shift. He identifies mm -hmm. and he loads. But if you're looking for 61 so tops cards. Yeah, year by year, just an incredible. So 60, 60, 58. So we got tons of boxes. We got three 5,000 count boxes just of 61 tops. They're a number order by condition. Uh -huh. So we know when you're looking for an X mint, all the X mints are in order right here. So you don't need to know anything about cards to pull orders here. And for a right. lot of things, baseball is green, everything's in order, signage within the boxes, a roadmap. Yeah. So that the efficiency, someone orders 80 cards from 80 different boxes, you need to be efficient to be able to be profitable on that. Yeah. Eddie, real quick, kid. Eddie's been with me since he was 15. Nice. He's 45 now. So. 30 years. <laughs> I've aged him. 30 years. No, no, I'm oh, kidding. He's not okay. 45. I was, like, I, was like, I was like, wait a minute, you don't look 45. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, so 18 years. You've been here 18 yeah. years? 17, 18 years. Incredible. Yeah. He wow. started off as a 15-year-old sorting cards, okay. and now he runs my eBay department, yeah. which as you can imagine is incredibly complex. It's got a million emails that you can probably see on the screen right there. Oh my gosh. And he manages, you know, the sheer amount of stuff is this crazy. This is funny. So I'm looking at your screen. You've got it literally new offers on like make an offer yep. coming in almost every minute yep. on yeah. different cards you got listed on eBay. Yep. Again, he's been here since he was, you know, a, a teenager. <laughs> now so he's nice. got three kids. So um, we try to cr create an environment where people can move up the ranks, but more importantly, just the vibe here, yeah. you know, it's just, I don't micromanage. I, everybody knows their role. And if you do your role, you can be here for life. Like this guy, he kicks Incredible. ass. So we come over here and you start getting an idea what you're about to walk into. Okay. What All you're right. about Shelves to walk- are getting high now. Card thing, this is starting to get intense. This is starting to get intense. You ready for this? No. <laughs> what are we about to see? Whoa, whoa, oh, yeah. all right, wow, this is where the 42 million lives. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. People, people will say they got 10 or 20 wow. million cards. I usually doubt that because I know what it looks like. Everything that you see back here wow. is color coded by sport. It's in year, brand, number order. We've databased the building. More importantly, we've imaged the building through our high speed scanners and any card is accessible in 20 to 25 seconds. It takes a village to basically do what we're doing here. Incredible, so, incredible. Um, what, do you, what do you think of this? 
Lots of cards. <laughs> you were speechless for a second there. Yeah. So let's try to find a card. How does that sound? Okay, let's try to find a card. So let's just say we're looking for 2018, 2019 okay. Prism Basketball right. Red, White, and Blue 26. Okay. Card number three. Card From Red, White, and Blue, 1819 Prism Basketball? Yes. So where would that be? So the first thing we need to know is that basketball is yellow. So we're gonna go to the yellow okay. section over okay. here. Gosh. And it starts off with 2005, 2006. This is all sweet shot from 2005, 2006. Gosh. So now we're going by year. And so you'll see that the years are getting newer as you go along. Wow. So, and then all of the brands are alphanumeric within the year. So we basically, we use the ultimate Dewey Decimal section here, system. So let's go to 2018, 19. So now we're in 2018-19 and we're looking at Prism. So we'll take a step up here. This is all red, white, and blue. Wow. And so we wow. go to number three and you can see how quickly we can get to number three. Who's is that? that? Rudy Gay. Rudy Gay, there he you go. Wins. Rudy Gay is the card. Rudy Gay is number three. But you saw how quickly we yeah. got to that because we created a roadmap. David, wow. how long have you been here? Three years. Did you know anything about cards when you started? No. But now you can find any card quickly. He's one of my fastest pullers. You can't have showcases for everything, yeah. Jeff. But these are showcases. They're digital showcases that are open 24-7. Wow. So you walk into our yeah. store and we can pull up the computer and show you, you know what? We don't have a Goran Drogic section in the store, nor should we. Mm -hmm. But if we go to our site, we you might have here. 500 different ones. Sure. Place the order choose in-store pickup as your shipping option, okay. we just email you, cards are ready to pick up, and you could do that on our Beckett Marketplace site, which wow. has all of these cards. Wow. So it's basically an extension of our showroom. All right, Reese, I got a challenge for you. We're gonna walk down this way, you're gonna pick one random box, I'm gonna pick one random box, you're gonna pull one random card out, I'm gonna pull one random card out, we're gonna see whose card is better. Close your eyes, all right, here we go, here we go. All right, I got a box right here. This one. Oh, I picked a good one. <laughs> I picked a good, Reese is in trouble, look at what I picked. Um, Pick out a random card. Here we go, what do we got? What do we got? Come on, come on. Um, Jerry Lucas, exquisite. Ooh, that's exquisite gonna be tough. Exquisite Jerry Blake, Lucas. I got Blake Griffin, Blake Griffin. 32. All right, that's a pretty cool, oh, that's a numbered Blake Griffin, number 32. Die cut. That actually isn't bad. I think Dan wins, but it was a noble effort on I your mean, part. That, that was actually a pretty good effort there to yeah. pull a number 32 Blake Griffin, but oh. the, anything from exquisite's pretty solid. The only thing I can really equate this to that I've ever seen before in my life is the wine cellar at Burns Steakhouse in Tampa because they've got the largest wine cellar in the world there and it's stacked with bottles of wine to the ceiling in this crazy warehouse. And it, this kind of reminds me of that. It's like, this is the card cellar. This is the card cellar. <laughs> it's amazing. Card vault. The card vault. <laughs> and everything is nicely aging, just like fine wine. It's nicely aging in here. Yeah, it's- cool. Oh, uh, you, got even, you even have sport flicks. Your dad has a bunch of these 1986 Whoa. sports flicks cards. Have you ever seen these before? Are cool. Ooh, Aren't they so neat? <gasps> Aren't they neat? Look, Whoa. look at that. This was like the thing. These were the cards. These were the cards. I actually, I actually still have some of my 1986 sport yeah. flicks cards in my in my old card collection. Yeah. Oh, Man, this is like a museum. This is literally a museum. It's a historical walk through sports cards over time. You can go to any year. You can go to any set and you can find that particular card here. Probably the, the aisle we sell the most cards is this one. As big as basketball is in our store, but sheer amount of singles that we sell, it's gonna be baseball. We've done a lot of shifting here. We're working on some projects over here, but again, you're gonna have 2022, you'll have Bowman, Bowman Chrome, Bowman Chrome Prospects. You know, my guys, you know, just the sheer amount of dividers that we use, it's crazy, but these are all 2022 inserts and yeah. parallels and, you know, my guys- and this set just recently came out, so you're already building it all up. So yeah, we've got a 5,000 count box of base cards. We'll probably build another 5,000 count yeah. box. We want to have quantities of each card, but yeah, it all goes backwards, but we probably sell more baseball from the last four years than anything else online. Hmm. And again, it's all chronological, alphabetical, Dewey Decimal on steroids. Rob, this has been an amazing tour. Thanks for showing us behind the scenes. Unbelievable operation. Uh, it was a pleasure to have you. I've been wanting you out here for a long time now and uh, for you to come out here and see it. You can watch videos, but until you see it firsthand, 
you know, um, we're proud of it. A hundred percent. You got to experience it. Guys, come to Burbank Sports Cards whenever you're in the Southern California. It is worth seeing for sure. And if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. We'll see you back next time. Take care.